Hi, and welcome to Tully River Quail. Um, I wanted to talk to you about this brooder that we have. It's a producer's pride. Uh, tractor Supply Company had them in their stores, but they didn't run them right. They weren't designed properly. So I made some modifications that I think you'll find interesting. Um, we have a bunch of chicks right now, and I'm ready to move them in to this brooder. <clears throat> right now, this is my week, first week box. These guys just hatched today. Those guys hatched a couple days ago. And I'm going to move them in. But let me go over this with you here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this brood is really cool. It's nice. But the heat plate that they have is too high, especially for quail. And if you look up on top, there's a little rack holder. A little slot up there okay so what I've done is I made my own little rack holder and I'll take you for a little look around this and I'll show you a little bit better how I made it um, but basically you can slide this up and down and the way I have it is angled so it's the way you're supposed to have it so the birds can get in and out of the heat now I just turned this on and I'm waiting for it to warm up, but I mean, birds should be able to touch this. So I can drop it down a little bit further, um, but that's a design that I made that I think is gonna work. The other thing I might wanna do is take this plate. Well, right now you can see how that is probably a quarter inch in further. So it almost has to be angled to fit in between the, the plexiglass. Um, I might cut one end off and bend it so it's shorter. So I can lower this down almost to here, which would be perfect. It's not really putting off that much heat, but I just plugged it in. Um, that'll never do, right? You need accessory heat. Let me show you some other modifications I made for it. Um, the other thing, it doesn't have lights. So I got these puck lights with this remote and I can turn that light on. I can turn that light on. I can turn that light on. I can make them red. I can make one red. So these I got from Home Depot. It's just nice to have some lighting in there. So that's a pretty cool mod, but let me just show you how I made that. Um, I took a sheet of plexiglass, and I have video on that. It was 18 by 12, and I took it to my table saw, cut it in one and a half inch strips. Uh, this is what's left over. I had a 14 inch piece, 15 inch piece, cut that in half, so this is seven and a half inches, and then this is one of the outtakes, what was left over, but inch and a half pieces for the edge so these are scrap but let me show you how i did it i glued them together with uh, super glue basically i took them to my belt sander cleaned them up a little bit and then i have holes where i can drill the pilot holes with a small drill where i want them and then the bolts I'm using are 5 sixteenths. So that's 5 sixteenths. I take it to that. And then they're carriage bolts that have the little square on them. So I go down to here about that far. And then I use this Dremel tool to cut in the little recess for the carriage bolts. And these are 5 sixteenths by 1 inch. And they fit perfectly. I'm using 5 sixteenths washers by 1 and a half inch. It gives it enough support and then wing nuts. So we'll go back in here and take a look again. But if this heats up nice, that'll do the job. I wish I could lower it a little bit more. But again, by using the stock tray, the stock plate, without shortening it, I'm not going to be able to do that. So again, I could just cut off. I'll show you. If I were to cut off one of these lips like right here 
and then make this same bend or take it to a place that has a metal break. I have one so I can do it. But just basically cut this one end off and then bend it here. That gives me the quarter inch, quarter inch thickness of the plexiglass that's on either wall and will allow that to fit in horizontally perfectly. I could still angle it a little bit, but like I said, the cool thing about this is with two hands, if this fit in there perfectly, you can raise half, lower it, so you could be able to, because there's enough play in here that you can raise it and lower it. So that's a little modification I did for the tractor supply. Uh, Bruder, I like it. It could have been designed a little bit better. Um, tractor Supply sold these off. Um, a guy got them from got them for four hundred bucks, so I paid four hundred bucks for them. They have uh, feeders and waterers, or you can choose not to use them. So with my chicks, I'll probably use this kind of stuff with uh, a little chick water. And put them in there for the first week and then after that I'll use the the trays this just loosens slides up slip the tray in there's some great so that they less mess so a cool little thing I know a lot of people were complaining about the the plates not being high enough the other thing you could do is if you had the legs you can put them on the feet but I think if I could get both sides down, I'll be pretty good. You know, this isn't giving off enough heat to do anything. You almost want the birds to be able to touch the back, right? And to get away from it. Um, I guess I could use accessory lighting on here. I probably have 12 inches. I uh, don't see my ruler. Here's a ruler. All right, so yeah, 12 inches, maybe 11, no, 10, I guess, counting the, the metal floor. Um, these lights are magnetic, the ones I got from Lowe's, so you can put them anywhere you want. They come six for $39, and you can make them do all different colors. You can make, make them rotate and stuff, so... That's pretty cool, but I like the ability to do it all remote. And I might end up getting another six pack just so I'll have two lights in each one. Um, I wish I could come up with another little lighting system. The other thought that I had was to use this original plate. Keep the rack the way it's mounted. The problem with this rack is you can't take it out once you have this slide out tray in. You have to move the tray completely out. So if you have birds up on top and you need to do something with the tray, you can't take that mounting out. So my other thought was to, uh, see, I have one up here. So I have the tray up there. If I were to put a block of wood here and put some screws or hooks, I could hang a put this up by chain and then I can angle it however I want to and it would be swinging it wouldn't be as steady as the stock thing um, I know the single brooders they have they now have a plate and even that plate only takes it down to here so a lot of people were adding a little two inch extension um, I wish they just thought a little bit better or talk to actual breeders before they made these instead of talking to their resident tractor supply vet but uh, anyway, I think that other thing would work with just putting a little piece of plywood in there or a two by four or whatever, because these can clamp down. So basically a, a two by four here, back and forth with some chain on either side. I think that would be great. Well, here's the queen of the roost. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. Over and out from Tully River Quail. Here's our special, special love breeders. Have a great day. Over and out. Stay free.